<laughs> it's been some time since I last played Mother 2, but here we are once again. The reason why we're back over here is because last time we played this, and we beat the game about seven months ago, but for whatever reason, there was issues between OBS and Audacity, so there's a bunch of audio issues, and this part, which would be the Sea of Eden, was one of those parts that unfortunately needed to be just cut out completely because we just couldn't do anything. But A, one cracking down, and we're also trying to avoid those guys. A, because we got Flying Man, but also B, because this is our old file. Because I'm actually using an emulator to be able to play this because I have no other means of being able to record it. Plus, I kind of need this in order to play the randomizer for it, which is a randomizer cave, I believe is what it's called. Also, we're just going to use PK Rock in here because we have a caramel that we can use. It's a good job, Flying Man, with a good amount of damage to it. And, but, yeah, anyways. So, I was just fiddling around with the saves to see what we are, and I actually ended up going back to a safe state that ended up over here. <laughs> so, now I'm just playing catch up to where we were. And we are, are 87, I forgot that shit, that was our level. Hopefully we'll be able to gain some level from this boss. And I also don't know if we can actually run away from these guys, but I'm just gonna keep just attacking them, because I think at this point we won't be able to actually get all the benefits from beating Ness's Nightmare or Brian's Nightmare in our case. And oh, okay, all the effects are gone, now we should just be able to just throw hands and defeat it. There we go. And now we will also use the caramel to be able to get more of the PS moves back, because... Yeah, that's just gonna be very effective against this boss. <laughs> I'm the evil part of your brain. You can't beat me. Because you are the one who forced me into being. Which is also something really interesting to think about. But also, is that really true? Because <laughs> we obviously can defeat it. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure it forced its way into Brian's brain or Ness's brain or whoever it would be. And okay. We did that a little bit too quickly. Now, of course, we can't do much. But we can at least attack it because we are powerful. And we don't necessarily need to use PS moves either. Okay. Poor flying... Poor. Poor flying man. So we need to use a PS move in order to get that shield down. At least, that's what I believe, so. We don't have enough to do all those, so let's just use PS and B. Fine man, please don't defeat yourself. I'm sorry if you do. But at least if that's the case, then you know if we got this far and it's only two flying man down in that case too. Oh, okay. So that did do some damage to it. No PP enough for that, but at least we could do this one, which won't do as much damage. But it does something though. Okay. And now it recovered its whole life. Which sucks. Oh, now it's using this. And here goes Fly Man, if I had to guess so myself. And we did a lot of damage, too. My goodness, this thing is, like, freaking defensive. I don't like it. It's gotta get out of here. It defeated Flying Man on us. And it stopped moving, babies. All we needed to do was just hit it once, and that was it. But hey, we leveled up at least one time, so there's that. And that's the reason why it's good to be here lower than our current level, which was about 80. I would say you come here about 70, 75 to 80. Brian heard a familiar voice at the center of the Sea of Eden. Gigas' goal is to destroy you. Listen carefully. Everything in this universe could, destroy, could be destroyed in the hands of Gigas. But he and his followers are also in trouble. The Apple of Enlightenment has foretold. That Gigas' attempt will fail. It's because of the existence of the boy named Ryan. That's me! <laughs> Listen. Free your mind and know what you must do. Your destiny has already been decided. You, I. Where should, where should we go? You know deep within the regions of your mind. It's a Saturn. Saturn Valley. Saturn Valley, yes. Go to the valley where the Saturns live. You shall get something new there. Soon, the magic cat will be no more. We must be quick. And quick we will be. Brian really heard his own voice. Go to Saturn Valley. Go to Saturn Valley now. <laughs> I love this game. I love how it just like... 
breaks the fourth wall, just like Ness looking at us. Brian is filled with the power of giant steps. Brian's speed is increased by five, as well as vitality, and was filled with uh, yeah everything goes up by five. And I believe it would go more if it's lower level. But correct me if I'm wrong. It's been a long time since I played this game, and I am definitely going to play this game on my own again. It feels absolutely great to do that. And now that it's also on the Switch. That's also finally an option as well. Oh, and we learned teleport too. Now we got Boo and Brian that could use teleport. Brian made all of his hidden powers his own. Brian absorbed the power of the land into his heart, and the magic count is no more. Or was no more. Which is like, oof. Because Brian's also in here. Now you can wake up. Your friends are waiting for you. It's time to get up. And I wonder if that was us talking to Ryan slash Ness. And I like how literally everything that has happened in this game, or at least all the sanctuaries, are just flushing through the character's brain. Excuse me. I got hiccups and everything. It's like, bruh, <laughs> just trying to talk and the body's like, I don't think so. I was gonna say, we're just gonna be there chilling now? Oh, that's right, because we're back in the under. The soundstone that Brian used to have is now gone. And now they're all waking him up because he, he just passed out basically and all that happened was in his brain, which is amazing. <laughs> what happened, Brian? You've been unconscious for a long time. You kept saying something. Southern Valley? Wit's waiting for us there. Anyways, we need to teleport. And then he just automatically teleports us if I remember correctly. Or at least Brian does. Okay, yep. Yeah. We just teleport, and I believe that's one of the only instances of using teleport. If you run into something, it won't just completely, like, block it off. <laughs> but here we are, now we can talk to all these guys again. I do what I say. Heart. I love it so much. <gasps> but now I guess would be the time to save, since we're right outside of the... I almost said a hospital. Right outside of the hotel. And we also... Rich, we got those games, baby. Your old dad was thinking of hitting the haystack, but we will continue our adventure though because we do have other things we can do. And one thing that I'm also not going to be replaying, at least for recording wise, will be um, the end, like Gigas' battle, stuff like that. But we will continue this once we get to the end game though, because we do want to uh, bring Paula back, at least I do, because <laughs> I said we would. We just never were because something happened to the files. Yaha! The Mr. Sanders are incredible folks, and the Apple Kid, he is a most exceptional young man. Very different from other kids. Well, anyway, the prototype phase disorder has been stolen. Someone resembles wearing a pig wearing clothes took Mr. Satter captive and stole the device. But where did they end up going? Why are we going inside of here? Because we can't even do anything yet. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Hmm. It doesn't work. One thing is missing. But the material cannot normally be found on Earth. The material I'm thinking of came from a meteorite. That fell from what I wish was younger. Have you seen a meteorite anywhere? Yes, I have. Eureka! That's it. <laughs> With even just a piece of meteorite, I can synthesize the material. Zexonite, or however you say that. I doubt your mortal enemy Gaius, or whatever, will <laughs> allow you to go to Anna on it in what piece of meteorite. By now, on it is in his evil hands. We must go, though, for the sake of everything, and if, yeah, everything in world, whatever. The Saturns have been introduced and some of the new developments at their shop. Please shut them out before you leave. I wonder what on it is like at this point in time. But yeah, we'll check out the shop, and then we'll go over to our hometown. It's too bad we can't sprint in this game like Mother's- Hi hi, what are you buying? You can sell too. I am Mr. Saturn doing. Can do all for you. What can I do? Zoom. Buying Zoom. I loved him so much. <laughs> and also just realized I talked to the wrong things. Uh, no, I'm so sorry. I'm pretty sure the new things are items. Speaking of which, in Magic Camp in the Sea of Eden, we also found some bats and stuff like that, so just that. And, okay, so there is things like this, and I wonder what the other one will do. 
I do want to buy some stuff. Please, what do you got? Okay, pink jelly, stuff like that. So it isn't necessarily anything new, as far as I can tell. So, to out we go. And here we are. It's also at night time, I believe, which is... I think <laughs> it's the only other time that we see it like this. But there is also um, star mana and stuff like that over here too, so we gotta be at least a little bit careful. But my question is... Are all the crows and all the dogs and stuff like that over here as well? Because <laughs> again, like you said, it's been seven months since we've actually like, played and beat this game. So realizing I think we're going the wrong way. Oh, I love how these guys look, but let's see if we can run away though. Of course we can, so we just gotta quickly beat these guys. The reason why I want to run away though is because A, we got the solidification, but also like, in the jerk that over there. So. Okay, so Brian didn't get all his things back, which is unfortunate. And poor Jeff is just like solidified. Gotta talk to my mama. And also, if we auto fight, I believe uh, either Jane and or Aziz will be able to uh, do stuff here. See, healing and the numbness is gone. And unfortunately, but also fortunately, he was going to get his Brian over here. And now we're also solidified there. So we're just gonna speed this up and then I guess we'll just talk to our mom so we can get our PSI moves back up. So there's that. But we all got solidified and oops. You want us back? Uh, no. You wanted to return. Okay, there we go. I was gonna say if we did that, we would have brought us back to Magic Cant. Oh, it was just brought us back over here, which we are all solidified. Woo. Okay, well, we gotta get ourselves desolidified then. <laughs> I am Saturn, zoom. And repair your body. Do I want me to do that? Yes, please. Thankfully, you could just do that for free. But, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure we did all the meteorite stuff and that last time we were playing this. So I think we shall leave it here then. And in the next video, who knows when that's going to happen for this. Maybe one one of the Wednesdays or something like that. We might be going back to Ana to scan in the meteorites, or we might just be going back and just returning Paula. Either way, that's going to happen eventually. But till then, we shall leave it here. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Slash that, <laughs> slash, slash that subscribe button, slash something down in the comments down below. Do what you do, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.